This is only the fifth year of that? The fifth year we've done the parade. It's only the wow. third year for the police escort. Okay. Um, that kind of came across and we started getting the mayor to come down that we got the police coming with us. We didn't get us. the mayor this year. He had some other obligation, uh, so. Poor baby. He's some he's other place. miss the party. <laughs> well, tell me a little bit about how the festival has grown since its inception, its birth. I mean, you, you're a founder. You've been around since day one. Well, it's grown in number of days, in number of breweries participating, and uh, it's grown in, in the styles of beer. And just before, after we did our parade today, spent a few minutes talking with Kurt Whitmer about our first Brewers Festival, where we had 17 breweries, and each brewery bought two beers. And at that time, there were only four breweries in Oregon. There was Portland Brewing that Fred Bowman and I started. There was Whitmer Brewing of the Whitmer Brothers. McMinimums had one up at Hillsdale. And, 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 and Bridgeport had theirs with Dick Ponzi. And those were the four breweries, breweries and brew pubs that were in town in 1988. What we had there that ne had never been done before in the United States, we did not, did not invite the big commercial brewers. We, uh, uh, Blitz Weinhardt here in Portland was not invited. Uh, they, the only other beer festival that had been around was the previous year, the Great American Beer Festival, and they, didn't, they invited the big brewers, but we did not. The festivals were going on for 24 years. Is there something every year that you look forward to? Other than clean up at the end? <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to the camaraderie, going and meeting up people from around the country that maybe we just see annually or see at beer events. I want to see the new brewers that are coming in to go meet them and the fraternization coming. It's just when you come down to the park here, at Waterfront Park, no matter if it's not the beer festival, other festivals, it's warm, inviting. We all enjoy this. This is kind of like the um, doorway to our city. And so this is a pleasant place for people to come and enjoy times, even if there's not a festival here. But to me, coming down to the park, the weather's nice. The views are nice. Nice ladies come out to drink beer. Maybe that's why <laughs> beer was invented. That probably was. The interesting thing about that, I, I did, we get a lot of, how many volunteers this year? Over 2,200, I think. Yeah, huge numbers of volunteers. They work hard, and you have to pass a test, and I did, my volunteer to get my t-shirt in those days, I came on Sunday and helped clean up. That's a lot easier <laughs> than serving beer to a bunch of drunkards when you want to drink some yourself and can't. <laughs> Another busy day here at the Brewers Festival. Actually, we haven't taken a look at this yet. Let's get a look at the official merchandise. How do you think? That sounds. Oh, you can get a hat just like Arts. This is essential right here. Not only is it cool, but it's a pint. I wonder if they'd let you use that to fill up your beer with your tokens. Turns out they won't. You can only get beer served in the official OBF mug. This is something my mom would be into. She's always had like a Hard Rock Cafe pin collection. I think she would probably dig this. Oh, what is this? This is pretty sweet. I mean. No smoking intent. The kitties. There's one duck that has an orange sticker on the bottom, and if they get it, then they get the little weeple. Oh, okay. The magic duck. Oh, I lose. Oh. So you did 
doesn't have to give me a prize anyway. No, now, uh, I do want you to see demonstrating the hula hoops, though. They're sitting over on the table. You want me to demonstrate the hula hoop? I don't, know, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can do that. Let me. I'll give it a whirl though. Wow. This lady definitely knows how to make an ass out of you and of me. Can I still hula hoop? I don't know. Oh, epic fail. Well played. Yeah. Is there anything else that you're excited about what's going on here? Uh, <laughs> honestly, I would say the, uh, the patronage. Uh, the, the amount of people that we have here is, is wonderful. I think the turnout is great, and this is j just the beginning. The fact that we have you know, all of these wonderful uh, Portlanders coming out for this event has, has been, it's, it's really fantastic. It's, you know, supportive and, and all of these things. The beer culture here, what, what are your thoughts on that? You, you, I know, I honestly just started thinking about this, and this is only because I just, I was, before I was in wine country, sampling lots of wine. And I tell you what, it's, it's incredible. To me, this is amazing. Like having all of these different beers in here, and there was a, I was really tired yesterday after the first day. You know, I didn't get my coffee in the morning, but I had one of those coffee, uh, coffee porters that was here, uh, Laughing Dog. So good. Yeah, I think that's the key for me, is just coming down and sampling a whack of beers that we don't get up north. Uh, this distribution is really small, so 90% of the beers here we'll never see up north. So it's get it on my palate, taste it, taste it, taste it, taste it. If I get to run into the brewer, then I get to chat. I get to chat about his brewery size, I get to chat about his processes, I get to chat about his theories, why he's doing what he's doing, and it's good. It's a nice sharing of uh, information. Yesterday I was talking with Larry Sidor from the shoots, and it was just fantastic. And uh, we had a really nice like half an hour conversation about each other's breweries, his new brewery that he's starting up in Bend, my brewery that I'm starting up in Vancouver. It's, I think it's just really good camaraderie. so much influences it because we don't really like write the songs when we're drunk or anything but uh it definitely uh helps kind of have a good time when you're on stage yes it does yes it, yes it, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
festival is it's so grassroots. And part of the reason is it stays true to itself. It's always been about the brewers. You bring in brewers, you bring in great beers, and you have a party. And we still do that. We still honor that, and we treat the brewers really well. But we're also looking out for the public. So we brought in things that we think they might like. Um, and then the beer, the Buzz Tent, which we brought in three years ago, that was a direct response to the evolution of beer bloggers because the bloggers were out there and the beer geeks were out there saying, you know, festival's not so cool anymore. We can get these beers anyway. And so we're like, well, we'll address that. And so we did, I'm doing this, and now it's a huge hit with everyone. So we've listened to what people have to say and grown in that respect. Super interesting. It's on the It's official. I got a wristband. I got a pocket full of tokens and a mug. I'm about to do the Oregon Brewers Festival big time. Let's go get some beers. Probably the longest line here. So. Thank you very much. Oh. Excuse me. Yes. Got my first beer. It's kind of fruity, but it tastes amazing. Got to have the uh, Cascade Brewing Company's beer. Got to try what they're offering. Uh, at some point, we might have to make our way over to the Buzz Tent and try and get some exclusive beer there, but uh, this is really good. Eric, Alex. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you, too. Here you are. Jen. Jen. I already met you. When? <laughs> yeah, I, I already put my hand up. Let us see your hand. Yeah, sorry. I'm, okay, I'm sorry. Like I've, yeah, I've it's met okay. met and interviewed so many people today okay. and the, the day before. Well, you're like a big deal. Right yeah, now. I'm so super like, big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just out of control, blowing yeah. up in my 15 like, minutes right now. Like, uh, we, we went to elementary He's school and everything. Oh, this oh. is the uh, no. Try this out. This is the Wu Tang Cream. Wu Cream. Wu Cream. Wu Cream ain't nothing. To <laughs> with. You got the Wu Tang Cream. Wu Cream. One more trailer over. Oh man, that's Pretty good. Smooth. That is smooth. Blue cream, man, no. It's got a little right. bite to it. Yeah. Are you guys wearing the line exactly for the costume yeah. too? Awesome. What is your name? Yeah, so we I know Hellas is a type of game. Yes, we are. Have you been here all weekend? Yeah. Second time this weekend. Second time this weekend? I haven't tried it yet. Is it good? Oh, I did, yeah. It's worth the long wait. Though it was close, close. Good beer. Good, good. It's, it's really good beer. It's definitely rewarding once you get to the front of the line and you get your golden brew here. Very tasty. Yes. 
Drink responsibly, stay hydrated out here in the heat. We only got time for what another beer, so Woo! what have you been up to today? I'm uh, just walking around, enjoying the beer, trying to. You got a paparazzo behind you. Uh, he's, yeah. I know. Thank you. Oh, oh, no. yes. He called you paparazzo. How are you guys? Very good. I only, I only go on TV for free beer. At the end of each day, the last shift volunteers get an after party, where they go behind the trailers and enjoy a beer or two. It's one of the perks of being a volunteer, and probably why these are the shifts that fill up the quickest. Line up here, and then we'll have some more beers down on the other table. Without sounding too much like we're all that, we are innovators. I mean, we really are innovators. Uh, I speak to a lot of people from around the country who specifically come to Portland uh, and or Oregon in general, and they want to taste, I mean, they, they come and they say, we want to taste new, new brews, new styles, like new evolving styles. And I say, well, Portland's good for that, but we're, we're a lot more than that, but apparently, the more I talk to these people, the more they say, well, you know, you guys are known for innovating. And a lot of other places around the country like to emulate your innovation. And so I guess we take that as a, as a compliment. But uh, uh, that's, that's probably one of the most exciting things about, about Oregon is just seeing people view us uh, as, as innovators in, in, in the craft brewing world. So John, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here? All right, well, we're pretty much at the boil phase. You can miss most of the early part of the day. Started off this morning with hot water and added it to the crushed grains and did a mash for about an hour. 
after the mash was done, all the sugar was converted. Then we added more hot water in a big, basically a big tea bag here. Ran water through and collected the runnings in the pot in the bucket. Now I got this big bucket full of sugar water. Now the sugar water goes in the brew kettle, and we started boiling about 20 minutes ago. So we, uh, we've already had one hop addition. I'll probably do three more additions before I'm done. And then the last part is to crash cool it with the immersion chiller and pitch some yeast. What kind of beer are we making? A chocolate stout. Chocolate stout. So, uh, a clone of rogue chocolate stout. Ooh. We even have rogue yeast. What is your favorite part of the brewing process? Well, I can't say drinking the beer. We also said that same thing. Um, the smells are one of the best part, which you can't get on camera. <laughs> Just the, the aroma of the hops. One of the it oil. does smell really nice. Now, is this acting like a, a natural filter here? Correct, yeah. So what I did originally was, like I said, I barged in here for about, or uh, sorry, mashed in here for about an hour, and then I put water on top of it, and the water just kind of filters through it. It's collected. For the first three gallons or so, I poured it back on top again, called the Vorloff. But that takes out any kind of uh, soot, like flour that gets mixed in, will come mm -hmm. through initially. Pouring it back on top, you get a better filter. So the clearer the beer you start with, the clearer the beer you're going to have at the end of the day. Now, you won a contest? I did. Actually, uh, the Oregon Brew Crew, together with the Whitmer Brothers, have a, a homebrew competition called The Collaborator. And um, this year uh, was one of the three winners they had. And, um, it was very exciting. It's a big competition and it's very tough to win it. And I did together with my brew partner, Max Tiger. Can you tell us about your beer? It's a pineapple uh, bison beer. It was meant to be a Hefeweizen, but the beer in the end turned out so clear that we couldn't call it a Hefeweizen. So it's a, a bison beer. It's a, an imperial pineapple bison beer, which I call the uh, a, a pineapple express. How long does the process take all together? So uh, this is what you call all grains, as you're using the actual grain. If you did an extract brew, it would be a lot less time. So it's usually about six hours for me from start to finish on a brew day. When do you expect to bottle this? Um, I'm actually kegging it, but I'll be kegging it. Well, I'm not going to ferment kegs right now, but in about two weeks, it should be done fermenting. And then I'll just put the kegs in the cooler and like, kind of lager them a little bit. But yeah, about two weeks from now, I'll be tasting the beer for the first time. Awesome. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? About 15 years. How many years have you been attending the festival? Uh, I've probably been here about 10 years. Since I've been in Portland. What do we got brewing, guys? Chocolate stout. Woo. It smells great. Yeah. Wow. Doesn't it? You're going for the boil right now, huh? Exactly. A little spent grain action. Woo. It smells good. That's, that's, yeah. That smells like a meal. <laughs> I can eat that. Like, I can live <laughs> off that for a month. Can you uh, tell us about yourself and your connection to the Oregon Brew Festival? Well, I belong to a group called the Cascade Brewerian Association, and Art Lawrence is a member of our group, and we collect beer advertising, old, new. We have about 125 members, and I think we've been coming down here for close to 14 years. We just kind of come down here and let people know that we exist. I saw this one piece right here, and I liked it, and I purchased it. It's from Heidelberg Beer out of Tacoma, Washington. It will sit on a table or a shelf. It can also hang on a wall. And 14 years later, I started collecting those. And this section right here, top three pictures, are my bar at home. I've got like 85 of those plaster statues now. And I had to knock out two walls, put a back bar in and a front bar. And so. And here is a, there's an entire book about back bar figurines by George Bailey. Bankers, Flat, Summers, Blitz. Hey, Blitz Weinhardt, right there. It's the same one which I have on display over here. Right here. See? Oh, nice. And this piece is, it's not really a back bar statue, but it's from 1906. And when, the guy who found this, this was all painted red around the picture. And he had to strip all the red paint off. Oh, wow. Yeah. But these are a few more pieces from my bar at home. And this is our best attention getter. I was going to say, yeah. it seems with the most. Yeah, every, everybody comes here and stops. And you'd be surprised the number of people who want a, a beer. And so, <laughs> and here's another mug. This is from 1910, H. Weinhardt's. But I try to bring just kind of Northwest brewery stuff down to the Brewers Festival, so I'll leave all my other Midwest and East Coast things at home. 
What uh, changes have you witnessed over the years of the festival? Um, items are getting harder to find. Uh, Twelve years ago, you can go to any antique store and find something, but now everybody goes to antique stores, try to find something. You put it on eBay to double your money. And now if I want to find something, I have to really go to eBay. So. Do you have something that somebody else might want and they have? A lot of people do that, but I just really buy things I like. And so. So you're not willing to part with anything? Nope. I wouldn't either. And so I just oh, yeah. kind of keep things I like, so. Where did you get this piece? This is hilarious. Um, that, it's from Rainier, it's from the late 50s. and. Brian Anderson, who's a good friend of Art Lawrence, has sold that to me. The first couple of years, everybody would say, my dad used to drink that. Now we hear, my grandfather used to drink that. So I guess I'm getting older, or the kids are getting younger who come here, so. And that was, I think, about 30 years ahead of their time. Now you see Coors Light, and everybody's coming off this now, yeah, but that, that's theory. from the 1960s. That's probably my, my newest piece. So my pieces range from the chalks from 1936 to about the early 70s. One, two, The festival ends at 7 p.m. on Sunday, and just like that, the trucks move in and the cleanup begins. By the end of the day Monday, Tom McCall Waterfront Park will be back to normal, ready for the next festival to begin. Live!
right, brother. Let me tell you. Ooh, we got the mug rinse over there. If you need to get your clean, ah, uh, come on, Eric. Don't swear. That's, that's the easy. That's a cop out when you swear. This experience has been amazing. I think it's like a quintessential experience you have to have if you live in Portland. I agree. Uh, you know, beer is such an amazing part of Portland, and if you don't come here and experience it, I, I mean, you just haven't experienced Portland. The way to my heart is uh, beer, because we're at the Oregon Brewers Festival. Kurt's wearing a uh, light blue, you know, Hawaiian hop shirt. Maybe it's not a Hawaiian, but it's a light blue with white Hawaiian-ish shirt. Yeah. Shades. I think he's wearing a hat. Being his typical on the DL self. How long have you come to the Brewers Festival? Since the beginning? We were one of the founders, yes. One of the founders, yeah. yes. I, I knew that, but I, I was hoping <laughs> you knew that. Too. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago.